In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the best soundbars under $300 to buy this year. We made this list based on our own opinion, research, and customer reviews. We've considered their quality, features, and values, when narrowing down the best choices possible. And as usual link in the description below, we have the links to all the best soundbars under $300 mentioned in this video, make sure, you stick till the end cause here you get best and latest best soundbars under $300. Be sure to subscribe for new content and drop a like below. Now let us go straight to the video. Number 1. Polk Audio Signa S2 The Signa S2 is a small soundbar that arrives with its wireless subwoofer, that vow to emerge as the excellent audio system, and those who are not ready to invest in a costly system, yet wish for something superior to what the current system, offers will love this device. While your TV offers a jaw-dropping and clear display, if the sound does not add to the whole experience, then it leaves a huge void. With a vast range of affordable soundbars currently available, the S2 still accomplishes to make its mark, and has become a favorite of many with all it entails. Number 2, Vizio V21H8. The V21H8 delivers good overall sound, with clear voices and full midtones. Lady Whistledown's gossip voice over in Bridgerton was easy to understand, although lacking a bit of resonance. The small subwoofer generates a lot of bass, though the low end lacks precision, and can sound muddy. When a certain Jedi fights the dark troopers in the Mandalorian, dramatic music swelled to fill the room and the subwoofer, made the stomps of the troopers, and the force pushes feel tangible. In Avengers, Infinity War, the floor rattled satisfyingly as Thor brought the lightning down in Wakanda. The V21H8 works better for movies than music, but mainly because the subwoofer, kicks out too much bass when listening to songs. Number 3, Razer Leviathan. The Leviathan is downright tiny compared with nearly every home theater soundbar on the market, measuring just 19.6 inches wide, 4 inches tall, and 3 inches deep. It thoroughly follows Razer's dark, high-tech sense of aesthetics, with a black metallic grill slightly pinched, in the middle to give it extra contours. The grill hides two 2.5-inch mid-range drivers and two 0.75-inch tweeters, and each mid-range slash tweeter combination handles 15 watts of continuous power. The body of the soundbar is matte black plastic, tapering tapering down toward the back panel. A recess on the bottom edge of the panel holds optical and 3.5mm audio inputs, a power connector, and a port for connecting the included subwoofer. Number 4, Klipsch Cinema 400. Klipsch Cinema 400 and Cinema 600 soundbar systems are Klipsch's latest two soundbar products. The height and depth of the two soundbars are the same, while the difference lies in the size of the subwoofer. The Cinema 400 has a width of 40 inches, and is equipped with an 8-inch wireless subwoofer. The width of the Cinema 600 is 45 inches, and the wireless subwoofer is 10 inches. The scale, unit configuration, and price of the two are different. Consumers can choose according to TV size, space size, and budget. This article will introduce the smaller Cinema 400. The Cinema 400 soundbar itself is a four-single two-channel design.
Number 5, Yamaha SRB20A. The Yamaha is able to work in either orientation, because of its driver layout. Viewed in its wall-mounted position, the top of the soundbar features a pair of 75mm base drivers and two 55mm midrange drivers, one of each towards either end of the bar. There are also two 25mm tweeters, facing downwards. Obviously if the SRB20A is sitting on its feet, those tweeters face forwards and the other four drivers upwards. Either way, though, the Yamaha is arranged in such a way, that it has the best chance of delivering a suggestion of 3D sound. Those drivers are powered by a total of 120 Class D watts, a solid half of which is split between the two 75mm base drivers. If you think we missed out any product on our list, please let us know in the comment below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click the subscribe button below.